Hello, this is David with Cobra Controls. This is going to be a short video going over the basics of how to set up a system with one, two, or four doors with, with our ACP series access control panel. I'm going to double click right here for uh, to open up the software login here. And we're going to do it in express mode. In other words, you have a new system. And uh, we're going to assume that all users are going to have access to all doors 24 hours a day. And I'm going to do that right now just to show you how quickly we can actually get a, get a system set up. Uh, this particular software right now is connected on my laptop. And I'm actually in my, my office here. And on the network, it's on the same network as our access control panel. We have a four-door access control panel that we're going to be that we're going to be configuring today okay so over here uh when the, we first log into the software using our our username and password uh we have a uh, some steps over here and if we go through the steps right here uh, we can go through them pretty quickly and we'll be up and running so let's go ahead and first step would be add a controller our controllers are all serial numbered and the serial number is going to have a unique code in it that tells the software what its mac address is and that'll help the uh, help the software find the controller really easy. This is actually connected to my demo suitcase. So I'm going to go ahead and name this controller demo suitcase, and I'm going to say this is the four door controller. Four door, and then uh, dash doors one through four. Very simple. If this was in your building, you could just you know call it front front area controller or rear area controller or side area whatever you want to call it so over here we have some options serial port we're not going to use where we have an acp t series controller the four door so t is stands for tcp ip so that's our small network uh, if we're on wide area network or internet then then we would click uh, medium and large and have to go through some some more ex extensive programming but we're on the same network probably 75 to 80 percent of all of all these systems are going to be on the same network so just click on this small network and click next this is where it brings us to our next screen where we're going to go through and name our doors and i'm just going to make it really simple for the demonstration just call it door one and then I'm going to mouse click on here and say door two and I'm going to mouse click in here and say door three and of course door four. Uh, if you notice on this screen, if you notice on the screen, the, everything comes up default as active. So for the access control up here, there the all four doors are activated. We'll go ahead and leave that. They're also by default activated for time and attendance. We'll go ahead and leave those checked as it's not going to affect affect us go ahead and leave those checked so we've added our controller it's in there and in the notes section we see our door labels uh, the channel type is small network and the controller is active so next we're going to go and we're going to test the controller this will let us know that it's on the network and the doors lighting up uh, green here means that the controller is seeing it and then it's giving us the the controller status over here on the right and if we expanded this out it would give you more more details but again this is just going to be a simple a simple uh, demonstration here the third option here is to auto add card i'm going to click on this and this will bring up a list of our controllers on on the network we only have one on this network so we're going to go ahead and let that be, leave that highlighted and click OK, and this pops up a new screen for us. And basically, this is looking for us to start swiping cards on any con any of the proximity readers that are on that controller. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a grab a few cards and start swiping. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I added six cards to that controller, and I'm going to click OK. And just for the sake of complete, completeness, uh, I'll show you that 
if you click the new button here you can also add uh, card number seven as a as a username and then you could put their id in here i'm just going to make one up i know one two three four five six and click OK, and then that would add that card seven. But while we're in this screen, if we we can edit these names by doing it one of two ways, we can either double click or click edit. I'm going to go ahead and just double click on each one of them and and just show you this is where we uh, put in the new name. And the names all have to be unique, of course. And we're going to say new name two. And I'm going to go ahead and, and rename all these real quick just to show you. Try to get this video in about 10 minutes. Let's see how close we can get. We can hook up a four door system in 10 minutes. Well, uh, name four. And name five. And Mr. New Game Six. Okay. So we have the the names are assigned to the card numbers. This is very important. And then also over here we could actually turn them on and off. We're going to leave all those turned on. We're going to go over here to our next section which is number four and that's update privileges now we could select any one or multiple uh, users and move them over to the selected user screen by simply using the single arrow or double arrow the double arrow will move everybody over over here we have only one time profile and that is free time which is 24 hours a day seven days a week and then same thing with the doors we could select any one door I'm going to go ahead and move that one back, or we could select all doors, which I'm going to do with the with the double arrow here. We can do that very easily here. And again, you can you know deselect or select. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, permitted selected users through selected doors, update and upload. This will actually update the local database and send it to the controller that's on the network. And similar situation here with prohibit would prohibit them and send it to the network and so on uh, i'm going to go ahead and click this and just click yes and you'll see this is going to take a, about a second two seconds okay two seconds three seconds and those users for those doors are now authorized at that door i'm going to go ahead and click exit out of the screen and real quick over here we can sort the user the list of of access privileges by doors by users and we can export or search pretty uh, export print export or search pretty easily and there's also an upload button there just to upload them again okay the next step here is upload so we're going to go ahead and upload and this is basically is going to let us make sure that everything's uploaded to the system just in case next screen here is monitor I'm going to go ahead and click on the monitor. That ringing was a denied access alarm. Okay, that was for the last card that we had swiped into the uh, database. Did not have access at the time we swiped it, if you remember. It wasn't a controller, it wasn't a program. But now they do have access. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe our sixth card and some different readers real quick, just so you can see the access here. And then I'll try. I'll, I'll swipe one that's not programmed in, so you see what happens. As a matter of fact, the one that's not programmed in, I'll swipe first, and you'll see that that was denied access, no privilege, and no name. And then here's the uh, swiping of the cards with actual permission. And I'm just swiping some different doors here. And there you go. I, sw I swiped every card on either one or two doors. And new, you can see the names over here. New name, new name two, three, four, five, six. All, all the cards are, are working fine on, on the doors. The, the next step here, and we're getting into our 10-minute 
our 10 minute timeline so we might go about 11 minutes but next step over here well first you want to stop the, uh, mon the live monitoring here and then we can go ahead and download and the download is going to give us our audit trail and that takes us to that's going to update the local database with all the information that is in the controllers and then now we'll be able to go in and query our, query our records or check out our our audit trail and as you can see the audit trail here goes through new name new name two uh, these are all the events that just happened and these denied accesses from before they were the cards were programmed in the system so that's it thank you very much uh, we're just under 11 minutes i was hoping to hit 10 minutes but that's close enough for 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 our purposes Thank you very much. Don't forget to check back here for more videos being up, uploaded every week. Thank you.